All right, so look, you try and use mouse and keyboard on Rainbow Six Siege, but you don't want to spend $200 on an adapter that might be getting banned. You know what I mean? So do that. This is easy right here. All you need is one little program. Make sure you subscribe first. All right, that's going to be a big thing. You subscribe, it's going to work for you. So you just want to go to this site. It's going to be in the description. All right, it's GitHub. You just want to download this one program. And then you're good. You don't need nothing else. You need the Xbox app. But other than that, you don't need nothing else. And it's only works on Xbox. I I think I don't know this one. But my work on PlayStation, I got on the PlayStation version. You feel me? So once you're here, all right, make sure you read this because this is important. Make sure you read this. You got to set up your dead zones. Very important. Otherwise, you're going to be aiming all slow and weird. I'm not going to be doing that. Let's go to the default stuff. All right, so click green button. It says code. Click it. All right. Click download zip. Boom, you got this. Go to your downloads. Go to your downloads. Extract it. You need WinRAR. Everybody's got WinRAR. Who doesn't got WinRAR? Everybody got it. All right. And I'm not showing this. I have stuff in my downloads. You feel me? So extract here. You right click it. Boom. Extract here using WinRAR. Perfect. Okay. Now you're just going to need to launch the export keyboard and mouse little program here. It's going to look like this. It's going to be turned on. Just click it. Make sure it's red. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to move your mouse. If you load up the Xbox app, make sure it's red. All right. Okay. Click settings. Let me pull this over. Okay. Click settings. Pull it back up. All right, click settings. Go to your settings. Make sure you set up your keybinds. This is where you set them up. All right, you double click it. It's gonna pull this up. You tap a key. You click OK. All right. Once you get these all set up, you're good. Don't touch this. Don't touch this over here. This none, none, none. Don't touch it. Set up your D-pad. Set up your reload. Don't touch the RTLT. Don't touch them. Click mouse. I use 1200 to 100 sensitivity. It's going to be different for you. Uh, just mess with it until you get it right. Engine use dead zoning. 16 tick rate. All right. And then make sure when you're done, you click save changes. This is big. You don't click this. I'm not going to save. You're going to go back to default. You're going to wonder why it ain't working. But it's because you didn't save it. Okay. So then once that's up, just close out of this. Click the little back button. Now you pull up your Xbox app. It's a big part here. Pull up the Xbox app. You're gonna need good internet. Not you need decent internet. Connect to your Xbox. Alright. Go pull this up. You do some cloud gaming too, but cloud gaming kind of trash. So pull this up right here. And you're connected. Boom. Alright. So now look. All you're gonna need to do, take this little program here, click it on. Alright. It's blue, it's on. You're good. Back to your Xbox app click it and you're good you know what i mean so it's gonna work no matter what you just gotta click into it and then boom you're good see look at that it's working you hear my keyboard clicking it's working no, there's no doubt there's no nothing you feel me so boom go to attackers you can find this out yourself you can go to shooting range i just okay go to shooting range confirm shooting range I see my settings are different. Mine are set up differently. But you're going to want to set your sensitivity to 100 each. And I'll show my settings in a second. You want sensitivity to 100 each. All right. So, boom. Look. It keeps moving my mouse over to my... Uh, I think it's supposed to be my other screen. But, yeah. So, move around. You can shoot. You can do whatever. Okay. It's supposed to be on your uh, your first screen. So, my mouse is stuck over there. It keeps clicking in OBS. Not that big of a deal. So... All right, so you're saying it's 100 sensitivity, both of them. So you do that. Put your dead zone, 5, 10. It doesn't matter. It's going to depend on what you set your dead zone in the program. All right. ADS sensitivity, like 60 for everything. And then come down here. Turn on the advanced controller settings. Turn on the advanced controller settings down here. Go down. Set this to 30. Outer threshold, set it to 30. Okay, this is a big thing. It's gonna make you turn faster, make you do everything faster, you're gonna push it as far. Set 30. And then you're good. You can shoot. You can do everything. I can't shoot, but you guys can shoot. Alright. If I didn't have OBS pulled up on my right screen, my main screen, I'd be able to shoot, but I can't. Okay, so once you get that done, make sure you come back to this right here. And read this dead zone if you didn't know already, alright? So you begin, you're, you calibrate it. So you press F12 on your keyboard. 
So when this is F12, press it, start moving your mouse to the right. And as soon as it starts moving, press it again. All right, it's gonna set your dead zone. You're gonna be good. All right, and do it again with F11. It's gonna take like half a second to move. Press F11, touch it a little bit. As soon as it moves, press F11 again. That's gonna be set up. You're gonna be able to turn. You're gonna be able to do everything, no problem. Not gonna lie, not gonna be delayed. You're good. This is no adapter, no nothing. If they ban the Zim, if they ban the Cronus, this should still be good because this isn't the hardware. If, they, if they're detecting it with the hardware, you're good. All right. Because this ain't no hardware. This just looks like a controller on your computer. It looks like it's plugged in your computer. You're good. So they're not gonna know. You're not getting banned. You're not getting nothing. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's the easiest thing. I got another one, uh, which you can uh, set up recoil control. You know, you don't have to do nothing. It pulls it down for you. You can set up like the activation. You can use different keys when you're holding down your, uh, your shoot button or your aim button. So let me know if that's something that I need to need to show. Let me know. You know what I mean? So yeah, now this is this is bannable. They're not gonna patch this. this. Isn't patchable. I've been using this for five years. This isn't patchable. I've been doing it. Ain't nobody spending two hundred fifty dollars on the Zim. You know what I mean? This is free. This is zero dollars. It's one download. They make another one for PlayStation, I think. I don't have a PlayStation, but I think they make one. So you know what I mean? It's easy enough. Make sure you subscribe because I'm. I'll show the other one. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not gatekeeping no more. They're gonna try and ban it. I'm not gonna gatekeep no more. Didn't want to ruin the game, but it's gonna have to be done, man. What it is.